Jeff calls me the subject matter expert as a position for me, but I've done it, everything from the crew person to the different manager ranks and uh, just about all of it. I would never say I've mastered anything. <laughs> you never quit learning at McDonald's. If uh, you stop learning, you got your head buried in the sand, that's for sure. Well, in 1972, I went to Union at High School and uh, Growing up, I usually worked uh, around farm work and things like that, you know, bale and hay, and, which a lot of us did in that era and that time. So there weren't so many jobs available back at that time that uh, you could go find. And I turned 16 and, and I wanted to get a motorcycle. And my dad told me, he said, well, if you're going to do that, you're going to have to go get your job and you're going to have to pay for it. Which in that era, most, that was how it was with most of those. So I seen an article in the paper that a McDonald's was going to be opening up in the near future. And uh, me and some of my buddies that went to school with, we went and applied. And uh, sure enough, we got hired. We got hired starting out at $1.60 an hour. And I saved enough money to, to go down to the Yamaha shop on Water Street and bought me a 350 Yamaha for, I think it was 800 and I can remember it for some reason, it was $816. People ask me what's kept me here for so long. Is it McDonald's or is it, and it's, it's really about the people. Uh, and it's about Ron. Ron is the one that's probably really kept me here for all these years. Uh, a lot of people hadn't seen, don't remember Ron so much in those days, but I remember coming in here on opening day, and of course we didn't have a drive-through at that time. We didn't have breakfast, but looking out that window, 15 minutes before we opened, and seeing that mob of people standing out there, and it was kind of scary looking to tell you the truth. But it was Ron; he grinded it out for quite a few years, and I don't mean standing back and directing. I mean he was right in the middle of it, running the grills waiting on people, running the bend. I mean, uh, I don't know that he went home for two or three days on those first days that we opened here. Ron always was an advocate. He always seemed like he created a strong work ethic amongst the people. Uh, you didn't want to let Ron down, and I always kind of thought that was a gift. When you work with somebody that was right in the middle of it, and never asked anybody to do anything that he wouldn't do himself. Uh, you're in a lot of respect for somebody that does that. Ron and me, we're as close as family can get, you know. Uh, he knows my family, I've just known his family. You know, we've been together through the good times, through the bad times. Uh, we're rolling this together, you know, and I attribute anything I have to him, so. You celebrate 50 years, he celebrated 50 years. So congratulations mm -hmm. to you. Thanks. Um, what would you say to, to Ron on a 50th party? About, really, just thanks for everything. You know, I know he thanks me for being around 50 years, but, uh, you know, in this business, in these small businesses, uh, I think you'd be hard pressed to find as many people that's been around for 20 plus years. Uh, than what we have here at this, at this organization.